Hey everybody, it's Stu, AG6AG, and I'm going to try to demonstrate setting up computer controls and FT8 through WSJT using the N1MM Plus logger interface. Um, a lot of questions came up at last night's meeting at VCARS, and uh, since we're going to have some folks out there running FT8 this year at the Reagan Library, we really want to make sure that uh, everybody has an opportunity to set this up because it really makes it easy. All right, stand by. I'm running live, so this might get a little ugly. All right, there it goes. There that goes. All right. Step one, of course, is we're going to launch N1MM. And there we go. So the first thing I need to do uh, you notice that this is actually set up for digital right now. But the first thing I really need to do is uh, to demonstrate a couple things. But as always, I'm going to go into Tools, and I'm going to download the latest check file. And I'm also going to download the latest country file. Now, why do I do that? Well, there's a couple different reasons. One reason is that uh, that information helps you quite a bit when you're operating. Uh, the other reason is we are all going to be networked together at the uh, Ronald Reagan Library and Museum, and we want to make sure that um, all of us are running all the same software and all the same files, or we may have problems with our syncing up. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do now, after I've done the first thing I was doing, is I'm going to go to uh, Config, and I'm going to configure Ports and Controls. Now, under here... I've got my port and my radio identified, and I'm on COM12 on this particular radio. And right here, I choose my radio, which happens to be an FT991. Now, I don't check any of these boxes. I'm going to go to set, and I'm going to do all my custom stuff. I happen to run my radio at 38400 baud um, with no parity, 8 data bits, and no stop bits. And I'm set to always have DTR and RTS off. Um, very important here also is I need to enable both hardware and software push to talk, PTT, and uh, PTT via radio command. Okay? So these three, uh, I don't need to enable it for CW because I'm not doing CW. Anyway, I'll click OK there. I'm going to move to digital modes. And I'm going to set up under here, under digital interface, I'm going to use the pull down here and I'm going to select sound card. Now, I can set this up to do FL Digi and all sorts of stuff in conjunction with MMTTY if I want to do RTTY or um, PSK31. Boy, that was a lot of acronyms. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to show how to do this in this particular video. I may get into that later. Uh, we're kind of pressed for time before field day, so I just want to move on to where we need to go. Um, basically, I need to go down here to where it says path to WSJT JTDX, and I need to select the path. So this is where I've installed it. So I can go to my C drive, and there's WSJT. There's the folder, there's the bin folder, and down here is WSJT, uh, yeah, WSJTX, uh, and that's what I want to select. I'll say open on that. It'll place it right here. Now, I'm done with this screen. We'll look at other, nothing I need to change there. Um, looking at mode control. This is dependent on your radio and the way stuff works. I use radio uh, use radio mode default, uh, so I don't really change it. Some radios you need to change it because it does strange things to modes and stuff like that. Um, of course, you have uh, uh, the broadcast data, which is also very important. Um, I have this contacts turned on for interface with another logging program. You do not need to have this turned on to work with uh, uh, WSJTX, but uh, I have it turned on. It doesn't ha hurt to have it turned on. It's only uh, accepting connections from the local port, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, for WSJT, I enable the uh, 
interface here on 2237, UDP port 2237. I check this box, and it's at 127.0.0.1 is the IP address. That is the local host address. It talks a little bit down here about port uh, 2333. Don't worry about that. That is if you set it up just to exchange data. We want it actually to be part of uh, N1MM. So we're going to have it talk to it on 2237. And that's about it other than the audio card. Make sure that you set your audio card output device properly. All right. Uh, let's see. Anything else that we need to do? Uh, nope. I think we're in good shape. So we'll go ahead and select OK. Now, next thing is we need to go in here under Window. And, you know, see down here, we've got Load WSJT um, JTDX. We're going to click that. And you're not seeing it. It's launching in another window. But we get this win little window over here. Okay. And then we go over here. Again, we go and we click on window. And we open up the WSJT decode list. Now, let me... Give me a second here. All right. I'm going to blank this screen. I'm going to open up... Oh, going to move this. There we go. And I'm going to open up this screen right there. Okay. So this is the WSJT decode list that I opened up. This is all part of WSJTX. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to set, go to settings. Now, <clears throat> it doesn't matter if you set this up before, okay? It does not matter. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, all of this should work, okay? Uh, but you need to reprogram everything. So when you open this up initially, everything will be like it's a brand new install. So, of course, I'm going to set the general up the way I set the general up usually, right? And that's completely up to your preferences. When I select radio, I'm going to select DX Lab Suite Commander. Very important. I'm going to check cat. I'm going to set the mode to packet data. And I'm going to set the split operation to none. I'm not going to test cat. I'm going to go to audio and select my audio devices, which in my case are USB devices. I'm going to go to uh, the uh, TX macros. And uh, if I need to change those, add those, I will. Reporting, I like to prompt before I log, but that's completely up to you. Uh, you can use this any way that you want. Um, very important, though, under UDP server, check accept UDP requests. Okay, make sure that the server is on 127.0.0.1 and the UDP port is 2237, the same port that you used in N1MM. I can look at frequencies and all this stuff. I can look at advanced, and this is important, too. I want to check special operating activity. And when I check that, I'm going to select AR field day, and I'm going to put my field day exchange in here. Ours is going to be 10 alpha SB for Santa Barbara. Okay, I'm going to click OK. Now, after I do that, guess what? I am going to close everything. All right, close it all up. There we go. Launching something in the background. Give me a second. Need to crank my radio up. There we go. I know you can't see this, but I'm opening up N1MM. I'm going to go ahead and select Window and go to Load WSJT. It's going to fire off this through. Uh, and you see my, uh, my, there it goes. See how it stabilizes there? That's what we're looking for. And then, of course, I'm going to open up uh, the WSJT decode window to set right over there. Now, 
I know this is hard to visualize, okay, because we're not receiving anything yet. But now all your controls, everything are the same as if you were in here. And I can hit tune, and that verifies my push to talk works, right? And I can even do a quick test here. Let's go ahead and we'll go here. Uh, we'll say CQ. And let's go ahead and launch here. Let's see what happens. And there we go. I'm sending CQ. Now, little secret, guys. I'm hooked to a dummy load, so it's not really going to send CQ to anybody unless I was in the room. But uh, anyway, I hope that uh, that shows you everything that you want to see here. Uh, some pretty cool stuff, if you ask me. Uh, anyway, if you have any questions or anything else, you know how to get me. Uh, my email address is Stu, that's Sierra Tango Uniform, at alphagolf6alphagolf.org. Stu at AG6AG. Anyway, and thanks again uh, for uh, watching my video. I really, really appreciate it. Let me get back and... Uh, just kind of pop this up and there we go again thank you very much have a great day and hope to hear you and see you at field day bye bye now.